What's up Marwin fans, it's Raphael from C Manga and welcome back to another review of the Breaker New Ways this week's chapter 192. Now this definitely felt like a throwback chapter to me with all those um, flashbacks we got today um, from the Breaker part 1 and it wasn't particularly a bad thing because you know it worked I mean it was kind of cheap using those same um i'd say chapters again but when you think about it, the breaker part one came out 2007 or something back then so that is kind of old so if it's for people who's unfamiliar with the series or doesn't remember it's kind of good to see these kind of things it's nostalgic and as i said it sets the um tone and the transition very well because we have an accumulation of all these um i'd say feelings and thoughts of she and everything he's remembering these memories and then you know that kind of transition of him rebelling i'd say against chung Wu. because as much as i don't want to admit it and hoped it would never reach this it seems like the relationship has indeed been severed so elder con's gamble has worked and this is something i'm going to keep repeating i know people disagree but i feel like if shirun had it his way things would have ended a lot better and elder Kwan wouldn't have died they saying that this had to be done but this is just a plot device in my opinion he was used obviously just to make shirun i'd say develop more and then sever himself from El chung Wu. But the way I see it was, yeah, he would still see him as his master, but no, he's not an idiot. He knows justice. He even said in the last chapter, I just wanted to save everyone. I just wanted to deal with things. And I feel like he was going to end it peacefully. No one would have died or no more people would have died. And, you know, it would have been bad letting his master go. But when you think of the compromise, everyone would have survived. There would have been no seal, silence, explosion or anything and she would not be in this state right now and now be severed from his master because he now probably hates his guts and can't trust him anymore so that's my opinion anyway everyone can have their thoughts but i just feel like you know this was kind of um forced you know it didn't have to end this way but in some regards it's kind of good obviously story wise it's just me my personal feelings on this it should not have really gone this way but that's the way it is um the tension in this chapter definitely was high from that because everyone is you know in shock from the way she win is um you know released that large amount of key and the fact that he used the phoenix cry and it was funny how chung Wu, from before had no interest of talking to him has decided to now approach him on a more i'd say less hostile stance and Yu san seek is like a rabid dog he is ready to go for his throat again but Chung Wu has threatened him like you know I've, this detonate I've been told it will not only blow up Seoul City it will blow up everyone here so come at me if you want to die Jason Seek was ready to rock him he did not care if they all die and if it wasn't for Kan Sung's plea of you know the civilian lives are at stake you've led the mirror this fight you're really gonna blow up everyone I'm pretty sure everyone would have been dead by now because Jason Seek would have gone for him so as I said this leads up to you know Chung Wu um communicating with Shiwin on a more I'd say um, friendly term than we've seen before and I really want to know what he's thinking we haven't seen much in his mind in new ways obviously because we haven't actually seen him and up in, um, that often and we only started seeing him now and from what we've known he's been had amnesia and had his brain and memories wiped clean so I want to know what he's thinking is he fully in control now in terms of he has his memories back how much does he remember what is he doing is this all a ploy you know in when he was fighting elder Kwan, or does is he only starting to remember things now or is this just him talking to him because he's knows of the black corrosion fresher and he's telling she would not to use it this way because he told him it's like don't lose your mind i don't know what has caused this but this is not the time to do it disperse your key and trust him and as i said this is what instigates the chain of memories she Wen has from him he's positive um memories of his relationship with chung Wu in a positive light then transition to the negative where various characters are portraying this um you know the nine arch dragon's reputation to him him seeing the black courage and fresh or all of these things and it's like even when he um, people said that he wants to merge the Mirren world with the human world, even though that's really Kaiser's plan, 
she instilled trust in me said i my teacher wasn't that kind of person i trusted him but now i can't trust you and he attacks him looks like he knocked the detonator away from him. i'm not sure if that's true and then he said something he's never called him before he called him gom Ryong, you know called him nine arch dragon that's something he's never called chung before he's always referred to him as his teacher his master his sensei and now it seems like he doesn't see him like that anymore and all he wants to do is fight him to the death most likely so i want to know what they're both thinking um right now fully we've seen Shu and obviously he's probably not having he's not on a ploy now and he's completely angry with what's going on and wants to take his rage out on chung Wu. but what is chung Wu thinking and what is going to happen now because at this point it's either chung Wu loses to uh, chung Wu beats she win she win beats chung Wu. someone comes in and intervene or they've got ulterior motives and some other scenario comes out here there's a ploy or something like that but as i said it seems like this scenario is not going to be held back anymore and there's going to be an all-out fight if there's another interruption i would not be surprised but we'll see what happens but as i said this chapter was kind of depressing to see this the relationship gets severed and this is all in some regards kaiser's fault and um because he's the puppeteer in a way he's the one that's controlling chung Wu and everything in some regards and as i said elder kwan killed himself over something like this so there's you know it's just like i said um so much madness is going on and, and it's like everyone people like she and chung are now enemies that's crazy so I'm, I'm just really want, looking to see what will happen next because New Waves is kind of confusing me towards the end of the series where I'm thinking this will happen, something else happens and as I said, um, I truly believe she could have ended this in a more peaceful manner but this is a plot device, Elder Con had to die, the rage had to come out, the relationship's been severed and now we just have to see what's going to happen so um, yeah, definitely want to obviously delve into chung Wu's mind more see and then obviously see where it takes off from there because this is literally going to be some massive showdown and most likely going to wrap up new waves quite soon because it's following the same kind of scenario at the end of part one so we'll see what happens next time but that's all i can say out of this chapter very good um little throwback very emotional intense and um a lot of hate going on so we'll see what happens next time you guys know the usual if you enjoyed this chapter let me know in the box below and i'll speak to you guys next time take care